Hello everyone, my name is Emily Vier. I am the Chief Executive Officer at Ovisio Imaging System. Today I will present our solution for real-time cell monitoring in a dye-free setup based on 3D holography and machine learning. So let's open this presentation by talking about one of the main challenges in cell culture, getting an accurate and reproducible cell count. From the sampling to the preparation, staining, and finally reading, all these different steps are made by human, that with the human action on top of that, which, which sorry, it's inherent by us and artifact. So 10 years ago, Ovisio Imaging System was founded. We are located in Belgium. And since then, we have developed a solution to master and streamline the process and manufacturing of your cell and various best therapeutic products. So our solution is automated, close the loop, die free, and, and address and answer a need of this bioprocessing market with as main application, the cell engine therapy and the recombinant protein production. We currently use holography and machine learning to first observe and in second analyze, analyze sorry, the cells. So to make a long story short, uh, holography is based on the optical properties of the cells to diffract the light. So finally, depending on the cell status, let's say alive, dead, infected, or entering into apoptosing or whatever can be the status, the light will be diffracted in a different way. And we can just um, reconstruct digitally this signal and then with machine learning platform assess viability cell counting, and cells classification. As of today, we have currently two main products on the catalog. The first one is the QMOD camera. This is uh, for low throughput for cells in suspension in, and in, in adherence. So this QMOD camera can be plugged onto any revited microscope, and then you will get access to this dye-free setup and holography. For people moving to cell culture in suspension in bioreactors, so then we are talking about the Alinef microscope that you can see on the right side of the slide. This one is fully automated and we are connecting to the bioreactor through the BioConnect, which is the fluidic part and the single use disposable. So let's make a focus on the Alinef Pro, which is our new microscope, fully GMP compliant. So this is for online monitoring. So we, have, we do not have any probe inside the cell culture. We are just connecting uh, the bioreactor to the microscope through the bioconnect. And this is still a dye-free setup. So we offer the closed loop system to just decrease the biosafety risk. Everything will be real-time measurement. Uh, so you might get tons of data points at the end of the day uh, and following the, the culture, the behavior of the culture. That's to increase the quality and the process control. And we are fully automated. As soon as you press the button and start running your experiments, you have nothing to do than just walk away. And in a dye-free setup, because we use holography, so the optical properties of the cells only. In September this year, we have launched the CGMP compliant of this product. The name is the Alinef Pro. So to connect the bioreactor where your cells will be growing in suspension and the Alinef microscope, we have the BioConnect. So the BioConnect is the single use disposable. Uh, this is quite a versatile tool because we can connect as of today with many of the bioreactors on the market, uh, such as an example, small scale bioreactors, benchtop, rocking motion, stainless steel and single use. So two ways for this connection, through your lock or using the welding and for the stainless steel bioreactors can be done through Nova Septum sterile connection. So on top of the QMOD camera and the LNF microscope, we have the OS1 software and its associated machine learning platform. So for the LNF Pro, the software is 21 CFR part 11 uh, since uh, summer uh, this year. And with the same software, you can first configure the microscope on the camera, then visualize the cells, and then visualize the metrics such as viability, total cell density, viable cell density, and much more. The Alinef microscope can be connected to your network via OPC. 
So let's make a dive now in the cell therapy field and finally how we are positioning our product. So as an example here is the CAR T cells workflow. So we are mainly addressing uh, this workflow with the AlignF microscope for the step requiring activation, transduction and expansion. So then we connect to the bioreactor and in real time we monitor all the cell quality attributes and critical process parameters of your culture. On the same workflow, we can then position the QMOD camera upstream and downstream, lower throughput for quality control of any sample that you might take uh, at one of the steps. Let's go through some examples to illustrate my words. So let's start with some uh, data and case studies on the cell therapy markets. So this is currently what we can get and what we can do. So we will get uh, images of your cultures all over, I would say, the time you will run it. And then we can do classic, classical sorry, uh, quality control, so assess viability and cell counting. And then we apply a color code to segment the cells in a proper way, alive, dead, or in, ag in aggregation. We might have uh, already some algorithm and classifier for CAR T cell, TCR T cells, and NK cells. And as soon as you would like to track some morphological changes happening in your culture, then we can just track uh, the fingerprint of the cells that we can get and apply some classifier to discriminate uh, the status of your cells. Let's talk about activation or cells in exhaustion, or then, for example, discriminate other type of cells in the culture as a red blood cells. Another example uh, to present the work we are currently doing with uh, BMS. So we signed an agreement uh, two years ago with uh, Bristol Myers Creep to just uh, integrate our ILINF microscope into their CAR-T workflow. So they have shown, and that's quite important, uh, to first uh, um, the, compare the AlignF microscope to the reference method they had previously in the lab. And here is an example on the dot plot on the left side of several runs they have done, AlignF versus uh, reference offline cell counter. And you can see that we are strongly matching uh, with the references. And then the other point quite important to check was that the AlignF microscope was interfering, uh, of course, with the expansion run and was not uh, inducing any negative impact on the cell therapy processes. So good performance, good compar comparability with reference cell counter. Now let's uh, talk about the second market we are currently addressing since a few years now. So this is a vaccine market with the focus on the recombinant protein production. So here we can address a two types, uh, I would say, of needs. People working with adherent cells or people working with suspension cells, either with the QMOD or with the AlignF Pro. And then we will uh, got different requests, but mainly uh, one of the basics is the, to check the quality control of the culture all over the time. So we then apply and the classifier or the algorithm to properly, um, I would say, get the cell quality attributes and critical uh, parameters performance of the culture. And then we can segment the live cells, dead cells, cells in cluster, and much more. And for people interested to follow uh, in dye-free and real-time the viral infection kinetics, that's something we can do in the SF9 baculovirus model, where the cells, as soon as they are getting infected by the virus, might change their content and morphology, and that's something we can track with holography and machine learning. Here's a few examples uh, still in the same markets of some studies we have done. So following the viral infection kinetics, uh, all this work was done with Novavax in the United States. We have done some studies on, um, I would say, looking of the growth kinetics of CHO cells in different conditions of culture, changing the media, changing different, I would say, uh, additive to the culture. It was done with the University of Zurich. And we have done as well some work comparing the capacitance probe with the AlignF and some apoptosis uh, studies with Bohinger Hinger Lyme uh, still in the United States. So as a sum up, uh, we have now a nice uh, view uh, and a nice, I would say, uh, panel of customers, uh, small biotech, university, but big pharmaceutical companies on board with the technology that are working on regenerative medicine, cell therapy medicine or vaccine industry. 
thank you for your attention. And if you have any questions, so feel free to reach me uh, on my email address.